Building a large-scale simulation model typically involves integrating multiple independent components as model references. It is common for these components to be provided by different vendors. Such vendors also supply the data with their models using Simulink data dictionaries. Here is an example of an integration engineer putting together an engine management system from a supplier and an engine plant model from an OEM into their vehicle model. Both these reference models have certain Simulink parameters redefined in their own dictionaries but with different values. Simulating the model results in the multiple inconsistent definitions error as shown. Before 22B, the integration engineer had two options. One, change the variable names in the vendor's data dictionaries and the models that use them, or perform independent hardware in the loop simulations or integrate the generated code outside of Simulink. None of these options are simple or appealing. Let's see how this works in a real world example. Here is a vehicle project model that contains plant models from an OEM and controller models from one or more different suppliers. When you navigate into the supplier's engine management system controller, we see the parameter AFR stoic as well as another parameter engine load breakpoint defined in the controller's Simulink data dictionaries. Similarly, navigating into the plant's engine model, we see the same two parameters AFR stoic and engine load breakpoint defined in the plant model Simulink data dictionaries as well. <coughs> Now, simulating the vehicle model would result in the multiple inconsistent definitions error as shown. The first part of the error shows that both the models have redefined the parameter AFR stoic, which is a constant but with slightly different values based on precision. The second part of the error shows that both the models have redefined the parameter engine load breakpoint, but have used them for entirely different purposes within their respective models. Previously, customers would rename these parameters to avoid conflicts or run the simulation in a hardware in the loop or a hill bench. From 22 to 22B onwards, you can simply clear this checkbox to skip any data consistency checks among the reference models. Now the vehicle model compiles and simulates successfully. This is a much more feasible solution when dealing with large integration models that contain lots of parameters and deep model reference hierarchies. You can now visualize the results in a scope block. This feature is supported for normal, accelerator, and rapid accelerator simulation modes. Thank you.